Hi, uh, this is just a quick video for uh, put this thing up that I've been playing with. Everything's on tight enough <clears throat> for now. There's not much wind. There's not going to be much wind. The main difference is, sorry, it's sideways. The main difference is this motor bracket that I put on. That's welded here. That's free here, and it's got a 12 mil hole cut through it for the spindle of the bike motor. <clears throat> so yeah, this is a that's a 36 volt 250 watt e-bike motor. You see, we've got a similar thing here, uh, and that can't really move. And we can tighten it and loosen it. If you're using one of these, what you've got to make sure is that it's pointing slightly downwards. If it's pointing upwards, <clears throat> then the gears will jump. You know, because it's able to jump to that gear, it will do. Whereas it can't physically jump to this gear, gear number three. So with regards to the gears, there's uh, six on there and we've got it on the second highest. Which means that you know it's it, it is fairly hard to turn uh, and that's good really if it was too easy to turn this thing this was the pain in the ass because i had this 17 mil shaft and i had these bearings so i wanted to use those because they're really good uh this thing was off some curry electric e-bike with this cog on and then i had to weld a normal shimano cog on the front so that's been a bit of a pain but it should work pretty well now because all the problems before were to do with the motor being loose and it's not loose at all that these nuts don't even have to be done up these nuts <clears throat> don't even have to be done up i haven't even got one on there because this, as long as this is all tight there's just no way it's coming out so this was a pain in the ass as well sorry i'm using that term quite a lot uh, the wire had broken coming out of the back of the motor if you're used to playing with these things you might have experienced it yourself but I had hacked down some of the thread I don't know how well my camera zoomed it's nice and sunny today yeah, you should be able to see it I had hacked down some of the thread uh, which is quite a scary experience <laughs> because if you hack through that it's basically job done unless you want to take it all apart and you know so yeah a couple of other things differences there <clears throat> the pipe was there before uh, right in the middle but i've moved it forward uh, and it's at a slight angle hopefully you can see should be at five degrees pointing upwards it just gets better lift that way on commercial turbines they'll basically say that's because <clears throat> of another reason but that's why i'm doing it So yeah, there's, a f there's a fair bit of weight in with two sets of blades there's a noticeable difference and uh, if you're going to make a turbine I definitely suggest trying with these old school bearings and a spindle because uh, it's a really good way of doing it the, the blades are connected by these uh, little hubs I got them from Windy Nation I think a long time ago I got the blades a long time ago and they've been involved in multiple smashes uh they've been straightened and played with some of them like that one you can see that i don't think that's had a serious smash at all uh that one has because you can see it's a slight bend in it yeah but <clears throat> we're not got a lot of wind today so it might not even spin so yeah that's it it's it's all be it was welded together using my 20 pound stick welder but my mig welder's fixed now so a uh, quick note on the tower that's very cheaply constructed homemade job uh, it isn't even perfectly sort of equidistant that 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 should all be in a perfect straight line but it isn't but it works 
I've got a couple of uh, turnbuckles gone missing. <laughs> the turnbuckle thief's been a boot. This is, again is very basic. You can see you've got some metal plate <coughs> screwed into the ground, bolted into the ground, and then you've got the gym pole on a pivot there, and a turbine tower on a pivot. Uh, basically we've got 12 guide wires that's that's where the strength comes from the wires as long as they're all in pretty solid can take a lot I mean this this tower will move as well it'll kind of sway a bit as you'll see when it gets windy but yeah that's a long enough video for now so I'm going to just tighten up everything five times and then I'll make a video of it going up the the motor is a DC motor and the power should hopefully come out of here so I think I'll need to be sorting that malarkey out very forthwith beautiful day peace out